let's find out some more about the thing that brings the skies to us, the telescope. But before we can look into the different types, there are some basics we need to cover to understand why astronomers use telescopes and how they work. Different telescopes are necessary to see the universe in the different wavelengths of light. A telescope designed for visible light will be ineffective in the IR range, nor will it work if you're trying to use it to look for gamma rays. In this unit, we'll primarily focus on the telescopes that work in the visible range of light, which we call optical telescopes. But why do astronomers even use telescopes in the first place? What's the purpose? The sky is there, you just need to look. Well, there is so much more in the sky that the human eye physically cannot see, so the purpose of the telescope is to brighten and resolve what would have been otherwise invisible objects and magnify these. But what does it mean to brighten? When observing the night sky, objects that are extremely far may seem extremely dim. So telescopes can brighten this dim light by gathering so much more of it than our own eyes. In fact, the bigger the telescope, the more light is gathered. Think of the telescope as a photon bucket. Say, for example, you had three differently sized pails to collect rain. Which one would collect the most? The same concept applies to photon rain. Which of these photon buckets would collect the most photon rain? Clearly, the one with the larger opening has more volume to allow for it to collect more of the photons as they rain down onto it. So if the telescope can brighten dim light, what does it resolve? To resolve something in astronomy or photography lingo means to obtain the tiniest, minutest details of the objects that are being observed. And the resolution of a telescope is its ability to do just that. But remember, resolution does not mean focus. Let's take a look and see the extent of the resolution of Glendale Community College's planetarium dome on Google Maps. As we zoom in on it, notice how the resolution isn't all that clear. Even as we try to zoom in some more, it's practically impossible to identify each individual tile on the roof of the planetarium dome. The resolution simply isn't high enough. As it turns out, a set of really good lenses can show things with incredible detail from great distances. And the larger the lens, the better the image quality. I mean, how else would we get such detailed images of the athletes in the middle of a game? The photographers are definitely not chasing after them on the courts and fields, but photos like this exist, so they have to have huge lenses for their cameras. So far we've discussed the brightening and resolving abilities of telescopes, but the last item is crucial. Our eyes cannot see past the visible range of light. So telescopes help expand our vision by seeing those wavelengths that we can't. Oh yes, and to magnify too. Now the magnification is actually not a characteristic of the telescope itself, the way that brightening and resolving abilities are. And it's not really that important to professional astronomers anyway, as they most likely never actually view through the telescopes that they're using in their data collection. Magnification, however, is important to amateur astronomers who participate in community star parties, backyard astronomy, astrophotography, etc. The magnification of the image depends on the focal length of the eyepiece. Change the eyepiece and you can change the magnification of your telescope. So the telescope is actually limited in terms of how much light it can collect, depending on its size. But how close up you can get to the object you're viewing, how zoomed in you can see, depends on the magnification of the eyepiece.